Hi, good afternoon. Um, this afternoon, we are going to work on the GST transaction for India. And basically, from the 1st of July, you will be implementing GST transaction in your company. Uh, we have the inside the previous uh, webinar, give you the example of how to do transaction. But during this webinar, we are going to give you tutorial questions. We give you a little bit of guide, but you, you still need to do a lot of the work yourself in order for you to become very familiar with the GST transaction. During this webinar, we are going to go only for basic transaction, basically uh, issue invoice, receive invoice, issue credit note, and receive credit note. And from there, you are going to go through the looking at the GST report, GSTR1, GSTR2, and GSTR3. As well as you can look at the report, the, the normal accounting report like profit and loss, balance sheet, and uh, cash flow. Um, there are other video or other webinar, the one that take care of the various detailed thing. But let us just uh, go through the basic thing first uh, before we go to the more complicated things. So basically, the when you implement your GST, uh, it will be from 1st of July, uh, wait for the official announcements from the government. And you already have the license to use Office Central. Uh, there is another webinar that show you how to get the free license for Office Central. You are going to get the free license for Office Central until the end of August. Basically, you have a few months of uh, free use of the software. The tutorial questions on the for the GST accounting, uh, just go through this uh, presentation for you to listen to the tutorial. Uh, just remind you that if you have not got your free, free account, just go to this website, officecentral.co.in and get your free account. Just, just click that, practice your, your GST accounting for free now. Click that and go through the whole process and you're going to get the uh, free trial. Okay, now um, you will log into the Office Central GST accounting system. So, once you log in, you actually get into the system. So, once you get into the system, you have access to many, many modules, including accounting. Uh, you can use that india.officecentralcloud.com or uh, very soon you can, you, when you log in, you will log into the v2.officecentral.asia. Uh, the v2 will be launched uh, towards the end of June. But don't worry, your data from india.officecentralcloud.com will be uh, copied to the v2.officecentral.asia, all your configuration, but your your practice transaction will not be transferred to the real um, account. Okay, just a, a revision of the GST terms. Uh, you remember the input tax, the tax that you pay when you purchase goods or services from your supplier and the output tax, the one that you charge your customer when you sell your product that's the input tax and output tax and in india for example you have the central gst state gst and integrated gst this is uh, when you do business uh, interstate and there will be quite a number of rates uh, for the gst wait for the published rate from the government uh, you don't have to worry, we are going to update the rate 
uh, inside the system so when you use the system you just uh, select the correct rates and remember about the destination principle so basically when you sell your product the gst rate is the gst of the destination so if your customer is in state a so the gst rate will be the state a gst rate and uh, this is uh, the the concept of the gst if you are selling within your state then will be the state gst and the central gst but the moment you are selling outside your state it will be the integrated gst and uh, remember about the various type of the gst zero rated uh, and the gst exam and this is the concept of the input text and output text the one that i mentioned uh, before so and also remember about the gst principle basically uh, the the people in the chain of supply uh, they don't charge tax on top of tax because they actually claim the tax so they only add the tax for the value added uh, inside their chain so there will be no uh, tax tax on top of tax uh, for the gst and remember the the gst is zero rated and uh, if you import goods then you need to pay gst at the import point and uh, if you import services you also need to do transaction for import of services and okay now we are going to start uh, doing the implementing gst in gst transaction inside your company operation so remember about the various tax codes most likely you are going to use standard rated uh, the rate uh, will be changed according to the government um, published rate later on and you you may also learn other rates uh, most most of the time you are going to use the standard rated but just learn uh, some other selection for example zero rated or exam supply or export for example you you need to choose different different code for the other transaction and um, remember the output tax when you issue invoice you must issue your invoice must be according to the gst rule and remember that you are collecting money on behalf of the government you need to pay that tax to the government but remember also that the the bad debt rule if for example even though your customer don't pay you uh, you 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 must pay to the government and uh, also for example uh, even even though your customer paid you late you still must pay to the government based on the agreed uh, time frame so this is the tax code normally uh, for the input tax normally you are going to go to the use the step the tx but then you may use some other code depending on uh, what uh, the, the section is okay but uh, most of the time you are going to use the standard rated the tx so don't delay your input tax claim uh, because that's uh, your money you can uh, deduct from your output tax um, but also in india remember that you have this rule that the you can only claim your input tax when your supplier pay to the government their output tax so remember that so you you see it will show you how to look at the gstr1 gstr2 and gstr3 report later on so okay before you do any accounting transaction uh, i'm assuming that you have the login to the office center already you have your own account 
and for you to be able to issue invoice you must have customers so um, you can go to the chart of account and create your customer in the debtor uh, at least create one debtor within your state and one debtor outside your state this one is uh, because of the destination principle of the GST the GST rate is the GST rate of the destination of the product so basically the state of your buyer so that's why you need to do that um, if you are using the wizard you you already uploaded uh, the adapter from your Excel or the from your Excel sheet otherwise you need to go to the chart account and create your own adapter there and um, the assumption you already log into the office center and you already use the wizard to set up your account the accounting wizard will help you to set up your company your country your state language and culture you already selected english and india and then you already update your company information and you also updated your gst number uh, you must put in some number there because if you don't put number for the gst then uh, your gst report will not be created and just put in your GST start date. You can put it the current day, current date, for example, for the demo purpose. And you already set up your accounting period. And then your accounting rule is set up as India. So all this thing is being done at the wizard, uh, accounting wizard level. So if you have done all that, then you are on the way to do your transaction. So at least uh, you must have one bank account in your chart of account your current asset bank and bank detail this is uh, later on when you do transaction for the uh, issue payment or receive payment and you already add at least one cash in the chart of account uh, current asset cash cash detail this is also for you to be able to issue cash or receive cash later on so if you already imported the debtor from the Excel, then you already build up your debtor list inside the chart account. And if you already imported the creditor from the Excel sheet, then you already have the creditor in your chart account. If you don't have, then you actually can add manually inside the chart account. You must have at least uh, two debtor or creditor inside your chart account so that you actually can do uh, some transaction so inside the office central uh, there are there are ways to speed up your transaction for example if you already have the product in your crm the price book then it's a lot easier to do your accounting transaction because the product information and the product price is already available in the price book so you go to the crm click price book and then select price book below that and you can add new Add new, basically you add product inside the price book, product name, product description, price, tax, uh, etc. If you don't have price book item, then you actually can use custom goods in the accounting transaction later on. So, okay, now we start doing the accounting transaction. The first thing is revenue issue invoice. So you are selling to one customer in your own state. So you already have built up the customer your customer inside the chart, chart account is actually debtor select the customer in your state so basically and add items uh, remember the products that i asked you to put in the price book and then submit now you already have one transaction in the accounting uh, revenue as simple as that so uh, you can stop here and then start doing your transaction and then continue once you have done your transaction so this is how it look like so you do your own transaction you see this you fill up the data and then you submit and that you finish your transaction so but the office central allow another level of approval in most company for example the account club will do the transaction and then the boss the accountant or the boss will approve the transaction before it goes into the gst report because once you generate the gst report submit to the government then you cannot feedback your the, the the report 
So you go to the accounting, go to transaction and then approve the transaction. So you select the transaction and approve it. Once it is approved, it will go into the accounting report like GST report, profit and loss balance sheet and others. And um, okay, now you do another transaction. Okay, so you, you are, if you have not done the previous transaction, you can stop the video and then do the transaction and then start again the video after you finish the transaction. Now you are going to do issue invoice but then you are going to issue invoice to customer in another state. So you select the customer in another state and then you add the item, remember, the product in the price book and then submit. Uh, by now you have two transactions in the accounting revenue. So the sec this second transaction is for the transaction with customers from out of state. So remember the GST destination principle, the GST will be the GST of the destination state. So this is how we look like. Uh, and then uh, once you do your transaction, you submit, then uh, you need to go through that uh, process uh, of that uh, approval. So you go to the accounting transaction and approve the transaction. Now you have two transactions already. So if you have not done the transaction, you can stop the video and then do your transaction and then start the video again after this. Now we can go to the transaction receive invoice. Let's say you are buying from one supplier in your own state. So you select the supplier in your own state and add the items or you can use custom product if the item is not in your price book. Put in your price and all that and submit. So that's it. Now you have finished your receive invoice transaction uh, from supplier in your own state. And this is how it look like. So, and uh, after you do the transaction, you approve the transaction. The same process like before. Remember that uh, of the destination principle, if you are buying, basically the destination is your own state. So the GST rate will be your state GST. So we are going to receive invoice from supplier from another state. So you select supplier from another state and then add your detail of the item that you purchase, the price, the GST and all that, and you submit. And this is how we look like. So if you have not done the transaction, you can stop and then do the transaction and start again the video. And again, you do your approve transaction. In, in real life, uh, basically most of the time, the, your club or your accounting assistant will do a lot of the transaction and when you do your approval, you can just go through the transaction approval in one go rather than every time you do transaction, you actually approve the transaction. But for this particular tutorial, you can just go one by one. So, okay, now we are going to learn about how to issue credit note. Basically, when you issue your invoice to your customer, and then because of certain reason, you are, let's say there's certain reduction in the price, you cannot reissue the invoice. You should issue the credit note. And the impact of the credit note will automatically be calculated inside the GST report. Don't worry about it. So you are selling to one customer from within your state and then you issue credit note, let's say 10% price reduction and then uh, you do the transaction for the credit note. And what you do is you go to the list of invoices, select issue credit note, select the relevant invoice and fill up the credit note value and then submit. That's it. And this is how it look like and then you issue the credit note. And after that, you approve the transaction. You can stop the video and do your transaction now until uh, you have finished the transaction and approve the transaction. The next one is you receive credit note. Basically, you buy something from your supplier 
and then there is a price reduction let's say for whatever reason let's say 20 percent price reduction and then you go to the receive uh, invoice and then click the receive credit note and then um, fill up the credit note value and then submit and this is how it look like and you should do your own transaction now and uh, stop the video and then when you finish then um, you can continue with the tutorial so the next step is the same step you approve the transaction follow the same step so after that you can go to the gst report and you actually can get the various report for example uh, gstr1 report our supply listing this is how it look like uh, the content will not be the same as your content because it depends on your transaction and the value this is just gstr1 this is a gstr2 report uh, the inward supply and the purchase listing and then you have the gstr2 report purchase listing and gs2 gstr 2 a report actually you get from gstn and you have gstr3 report combine uh, gstr1 and gstr2 so you should look at the one that you have done before and look at the report whether the report actually is the correct report it should be the correct report if it is uh, not the same as your transaction then you should double check again why so this is the gstr3 report in terms of values but of course you also can get the gstr3 report in terms of pdf format so this is the pdf format for the gstr3 report okay and you can also generate uh, all the other standard accounting report like profit and loss balance sheet trial balance cash flow general ledger general listing and all that uh, by clicking the report so I don't have to show you that the report here but you actually can do that there are many other video that uh, explain to you the various uh, module inside the office central so you can uh, go through the other video to learn about the other modules or the other report inside the office central but uh, for today for example uh, you have already uh, gone through the the basic transaction practically uh, 80 or 90 percent of your transaction will be issue invoice receive invoice issue credit note and uh, receive credit note so probably another 10 percent of the transaction will be the others which uh, we will cover in the other webinar so thank you very much for your time and uh, I hope that you can go through the, the tutorial and make sure that you, you test the various function, the various transaction so that you are very familiar with the GST transaction because um, when, you, when you are familiar with the transaction then you are going to make less and less mistake not only you but your own staff must also be very familiar with the GST transaction I believe not only the top management not only the accountant but even the salespeople need to understand the GST transaction in their own area so thank you very much and then see you in another webinar so continue with your tutorial and uh, hopefully that this uh, tutorial will help you to understand more about the various GST transaction. Thank you.